Today's discussion would be focused on the opportunities that Canada offers for Pakistani students, whether they are interested in science, humanities, engineering, computer science, or other fields. We have a glad sea of brilliant panelists. I shall introduce each of them at the time of giving them floor. Ladies and gentlemen, Canada is currently the third largest market for international students. Major factors which have made Canada a favorite destination are well known, and these include the high quality of education, open and welcoming Canadian society, and permission for students to work part-time. Keeping all this in mind, we are going to aim at a focused discussion on creating awareness among Pakistani students and parents of the benefits of Canadian education. It's a common knowledge that in spite of its large population and a significant percentage of Pakistani students fluent in English language, Pakistan is not among the first 15 countries which are sending their students to Canadian universities. Several initiatives have been taken to address this issue and the inclusion of Pakistan in STS is one of them. However, due to a variety of factors like high tuition fee, COVID-19, visa processing time, and the lack of awareness among Pakistani applicants about the Canadian education system, the number of Pakistani students in Canada has not increased in the last two years. Before initiating the discussion, I want to clarify a couple of things. The focus of today's program is on education and not immigration. The focus of today's program is on education and not immigration, period. We are not here to give immigration related advice. It's a job of different kind of professionals. Still, we have got at least two panelists who hold immigration practitioner diploma and are regulated Canadian immigration consultants. Educational linkage is an important area of diplomatic activity and we should hold this discussion in this perspective. Similarly, we are not here to discuss the number of students of other countries. We may refer to some best practices but our sharp focus will be on Pakistan and the number of its students in Canada and how to increase them. As the target audience are Pakistani students and their parents, this is why I will say that we can talk about both English and Urdu in the same way. We feel comfortable in the same way. The more detail of this discussion, I will leave the panelists. 